channel. Uh, my name is Sito and if you're new here and even bigger welcome to you. In today's video, we are going to do a bit of a confession and redemption. So, the confession is, well, we all know I'm not a professional sewist and a seamstress, right? Because I'm actually, yeah, right? Right? Okay. Okay, we know that, right? Yeah. So everything I do is DIY. Um, I learn by trial and error. Recently, I posted a video um, on an overall dress to which I'll link up here. A friend of mine really liked it and said, hey, can you make me one? You know, I really like it and I cannot find one that fits me well, blah, blah, blah. I said, okay, sure, yeah. So I went thrifting and I found this really nice pair of men's denim for her and I thought I'll make that for her. But because I was so overconfident that I've already done this before, I maybe skipped a few essential steps of getting my measurements right. This is how it turned out. I like my sewing skills. It was really good. I mean, I get better by sewing, but this is how the front is. The top is too narrow. Now, while I like how I put the back pockets at the front, I also didn't really make any allowance for seams, which meant that this became way too tight. Let's look at the back. I don't like how it's too triangular at the back. I want it to be sort of like, like that like a trapezium sort of, you know? So I thought, oh my God, I'll just chuck this away. Go find another pair of denims and redo this whole thing again at some point. But then I was going to Pinterest yesterday and I came across this. And I've always wanted to make a dress like this. For my, you know, I'm like, meh, I might as well just make it for my friend, right? And I thought I could totally make this, just get some white fabric and make it. But, Another friend of mine had donated some dresses that I could use for my DIY projects. So, so I am going to use this the bottom of this dress to sort of like fit the top of this and then get that, that look that I'm going for. But this time it's going to be a bit more calculated and I'm going to think about what I'm going to do and how it's going to fit. And just let's not waste any more time. Let's just get to the tutorial. So first I laid out the white dress and cut off the skirt part out. The skirt part had double layers and I kept it as it is. And then I went on to the denim and removed the pockets. Next, I measured out a square which is 10 inch by 10 inch and cut it out on the fold. And then I made sort of a half inch of a slant so that it would be more of a trapezium rather than a square shape. I wanted a trapezium for the back as well. So I cut on fold at the back of the denim piece, except here you will see me cutting a shape which is which doesn't really have a name, it's just a funny shape but what I really wanted was a trapezium which you will soon see me do at the end of the video because at this time I am still not realizing that my back is not the shape of a trapezium but it gets corrected anyways Next, I cut out straps out of the denim which, um, which were about one and a half inch width because um, once I did the overlocking on the sides and did a hem of one fourth of an inch, it becomes an inch, just exactly what I wanted. So I sew the two straps together and then overlock the sides and then overlock all the raw edges of the denim pieces. And um, again here, I still don't realize that this is not a trapezium, which I will correct later, but yeah, overlock the sides so that you can hem it at quarter of an inch and overlock the skirt as well to the lining but do not hem the skirt at this point. And here you will see me folding the overlocked part by a quarter of an inch on itself and doing a hem. I do this for all the raw edges except where I'm going to actually join 
the denim to the skirt and then I also sewed on the pocket to the front of the denim with ladies and gentlemen a brown thread so that it gives you that polish nice denim look oh yeah because I rolled that way I also sewed two rows of basting stitch around the dress or skirt part so that I can gather it nice and the gathered portion of the skirt would give me um, an overall of about 34 inches or um, 16 inches on the one side. This is so that the skirt can be pulled up above my waist or past my waist. Once I was happy with my gathering, I carefully placed the front and back portion of the denim onto the skirt right sides facing, but you have to carefully place it in the center of the skirt. And then I pinned it in place and ran a normal stitch over it and did an, uh, did an over stitch as well. I never sew over my needles, I just think it's really bad and the needle might snap and fly right into my eye. I think it might, who knows. And now I'm removing all the basting stitch away, um, all the yucky bits. Next, I used an elastic to give the waist a cinch on the side and so that the waist is still wide enough to go over my waist um, or my friend's waist. Um, but you have to like, to do this, you kind of have to pull the elastic but keep the fabric the way it is. And then to finish it off, I just folded it over itself and did a hem. Pin and sew the straps in place. Okay, confession time. I got one button in right with my nutcracker, but I totally ruined the other one and I can't use it anymore. It comes in a pair. So time to improvise because I don't want it to look funny I have to now remove this one and I'm gonna attach this buttons instead because I think this will still be able to go around and hook on it oh this would have looked so cool but yeah let's get to it thankfully at this time I realized that the back was in a trapezium shape and I fixed it right away here And that's it guys, how does it look? Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and if my friend doesn't like it, I guess I'll just keep it for myself because it is a pretty dress. So Claire, you owe me big time here, big time. Well, not really, you've done a lot for me. I love you. But anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this, watching this video. And if you're new here to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and follow me and hit the notification button so that you know every time I post a video up. And please like this video so we can get like 5,000 likes for my video and I can get monetized someday. And I shall see you again soon next week. Bye bye.